자, 그러면 1월 18일 수요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스 카스 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 올해 세계 경제가 저성장과 경기 침체 가능성으로 암울할 것이라는 세계 경제 포럼 보고서가 발표됐습니다. China's economy grew by just 3% in 2022, official data showed Tuesday. Far below the government's own target, but slightly better than market expectations. 중국의 작년 경제 성장률이 3%로 중국 정부의 목표치에는 크게 미달했지만 시장 기대치보다는 살짝 높은 수준으로 집계됐습니다. The National Police Agency has announced that right turn traffic lights will officially be in operation from Sunday and violators could face a fine of up to 200,000 won or detention for under 30 days. 우회전 신호등이 22일부터 본격 운영됩니다. 경찰청은 우회전 신호등이 설치된 곳에서 정지 의무를 어기면 20만 원의 벌금 또는 30일 이하의 구류로 처벌될 수 있다고 밝혔습니다. Over 400 million damaged bills and coins were taken out of circulation last year, with the total face value of the destroyed cash amounting to some 2.6 trillion won, according to the Bank of Korea. 지난해 4억 장이 넘는 화폐가 손상돼 공식적으로 폐기 처리됐습니다. 한국은행은 액면가로 2조 6천억 원 규모라고 밝혔습니다. A Spanish traveler has been fined 3300 Australian dollars for failing to declare meat and cheese in his luggage, becoming the first person fined under Australia's new biosecurity laws. 호주로 입국하던 한 스페인 관광객이 고기와 치즈를 신고하지 않고 들여오다 적발돼 벌금 3300 호주 달러, 우리 돈약 285만 원의 벌금을 부과받았습니다. 이는 호주에서 생물 방역 규정이 도입된 이래 처벌받은 첫 번째 사례입니다. And those are our morning headlines today. Morning headline expressions. Here are the main expressions from today's headlines. Gloomy was the first one. Yeah, gloomy is not a good thing. No. So we were talking about the outlook for the global economy, and many economists and CEOs they they say the. It's gloomy. Yeah. The year ahead will be gloomy. So that means they don't have high hopes mm. for the economy for the next year. They don't expect it to do very well. Mm. If we say a person is gloomy, they look sad. They don't look happy. Yeah. If weather is gloomy, it's cloudy, maybe a mm. bit rainy. It's not nice. Yeah. I feel like last year was quite bad for the economy the year before was quite bad yeah, and this year it looks like it will be even worse just as bad or even worse yeah that's mm. kind of what they're saying it's going to be worse because especially the outlook too you like the last couple of years you know some of these surveys the economists and the ceos they had a better outlook I they see. weren't as gloomy as they mm. are now 그래요. 아무라다 치무라다 gloomy 가 쓰였습니다 The second expression was slightly better. Ah, yeah, and we can actually compare this with the other expression we talked about. So, slight, if you say something is slightly, mm. it's a little bit, yeah. right? Oh, this, this is slightly better than mm. I expected, yeah. or, you know, somebody gives you a report, you mm. ask them to fix it, and, yeah, well, it's slightly better, right? But if I said, oh, this is much better, this is far better, mm. then it's a lot. Yes, right? slightly better. 그러니까 아주 조금 나은 거죠. Uh, how was your commute this morning compared to your uh, trip back home yesterday? You know, today was, it was... Uh, It wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. Yeah. yeah it was slightly better. It wasn't, mm. it wasn't, it wasn't great, mm. but it was slightly better. It was slightly better. Yeah. Today's commute wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. If it was, if it was much better, then mm. you could say, oh, it was far better. Ah, 그렇죠. Far better. 그러면 훨씬 나은 거고요. Slightly better는 살짝 나은 겁니다. The next expression was 
detention. Yeah, detention is when you are detained. You're mm. in an area. You're in a room usually, and you're not allowed to leave. Mm. You're detained by either teachers or police. <laughs> 그래요. 서양에서 학교에서 선생님이 이제 화가 나면은 이제 조금 혼내다가 뭐 그래도 안 되면 디텐션 이렇게 말을 해가지고 그럼 너 남어 그래서 그래서 뭐 반성문 쓰고 그러는 것도 있죠. When I was a kid, I had one teacher, and the teacher had the word detention written on the blackboard. 아, 칠판에다가? And then 왜요? if you were bad, your name would go 아, up there. 아, 거기다가 이렇게. So you'd be in class if you're talking to your friend, and she'd write my name on there. Hey, and, uh, Sue. Yeah, exactly. <웃음> But then if you're good, the rest of the class, maybe the teacher would erase your name 아, from the detention 그렇군요. box. 네. 자, 수업 시간에 학교에서 쓸때 디텐션은 이렇게 잠시 뭐 남아서 어뭐 벌을 받거나 뭐 반성문 쓰는 이런 정도지만요. 여기서 말하는 디텐션은 구금 그리고 구류의 의미가 있습니다. Now to take something out of circulation. Mm, well, if something is being circulated, it's being passed around, mm. right? Um, We're talking about money. Yeah. It's now taken out of circulation. It means they're It's taking no that ex yeah. those exact bills, right. those physical bills, those physical coins. They are taken out of the system. Mm -hmm. They are no longer going to be passed around. It's because 네. they're damaged. 네, 네. 더 이상 이제 사용되지 않는다. 어, 뭐 유통되지 않는다. 이런 의미로 볼수 있는데요. 폐기 처분된 거를 여기선 이렇게 표현한 겁니다. 굉장히 많은 이제 어, 집회나 동전이. 손상이 돼가지고요. 그 화폐가 they were taken out of circulation. 자 마지막 표현은 to declare something. At the airport, yeah. when you declare something, you acknowledge that you are in possession of something. That's right. And it's something that and you'll see the list of things that you're meant to declare. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll be obviously food and farming mm. or any kind of um, luxury vegetable good luxury or, goods yep. currency hard cash ah. there's a certain different airlines different countries or different countries mm. have different thresholds mm -hmm. for what you're meant to declare 그렇죠 공항에서 declare 한다라는 거는요 세관 신고를 한다라는 뜻이에요 물론 일반적으로 declare 한다 그러면 선언하다의 의미가 있지만 여기선 그런 의미가 아니고 신고하다로 보시면 되겠습니다 자, 이렇게 해서 오늘 헤드라인에 나온 표현들 리뷰해봤습니다. 무모한 문장도 계속해서 보내주세요. 귀경길이 덜 혼잡할 것 같다. You know, the way back won't be as bad is mm. the kind of gist we're going for, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know what, you know what's funny? When you, um, from, from North America, from the east, eastern part of North America, when you fly to the UK, mm. it doesn't take as long mm. as it does coming home. There you go. It's like a few hours shorter, actually. 네, as 활용해 주시면 되겠습니다. 자, Morning Headline Expressions는 오디오 어학당과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣기 하실 수 있습니다.